wait, are we... Are we going back in time? What's going on here? Hey! What's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freak and geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Kyoryujin slash King Oger DX Kyoryujin full action version. So here we are, and there it is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging right up front. Here we have a nice big image of Kyoryujin, the full action version. And on this side, we got action on this side we have more action up top we have action with the kyoryujas on the bottom we have even more action on the back of the box we have our obligatory product shots he does this that thing stuff the other warning don't eat anything in this box that could be very bad for you and of course we have sad pac-man that's basically it for the packaging and moving right along, here we have Kyoryujin, the full action version, and who thought we would be getting new Kyoryuja toys in 2023? Not me, but I'm happy. I'm happy about this. Kyoryuja is one of my favorite Sentai series, so I am happy that we're getting some new merch all these years later. Hey, I'm not complaining. I am not complaining one bit. So here we have the three components that make up Kyoryujin. We have Gabutira, we have Stegochi, and we have Drakira! So let's take a quick look at each of the components individually. So first we'll take a look at Drakira, the Voltasaur of Kyoryu Pink. And getting close here so we can take a look at the details. We got some nice silver paint there on the snoot. Got the eyes down in green. Got that yellow for the horns. Got some gray in there as well. Some yellow going down the sides. And of course you got a little drill tail going on there. Now articulation wise on um, the mouth can open and close. This can move as well. That's for combination, but that can move forward and back if you want. You can extend the tail. Again, that is a gimmick that carries over from the original version. The legs do not move at all. The legs are static. They're just molded in place. Of course, you had the fist just coming right out of her butt, but hey, it is what it is. But still, a nice kind of simplified version of Drakira. And here it is with the original DX version. So you can see how that works out. And for the record, in case anybody is wondering, no, Judenchis will not work in these. Um, they, yeah, they're just, it's, it's pretty much as big as, big as she is. So, yeah. No, <laughs> Judenchis do not work in this. These don't have any of the gimmicks that the original uh, DX versions did. Again, they're very simplified, but they have the, uh, the full action in the combined mode, and that's really the big sell of this set. But there we have Drakira. So now let's move on to Stegochi, uh, the Voltsor for Kyoryu Blue. And we're getting close here so we can take a look at those details. Again, you got that nice silver on the snoot, red for the eyes, going to yellow down the side. Some silver up here as well. Got little spikes going on. And the tail, again, the fist just coming right out of the butt, but it is, it is what it is. But again, the mouth, oops, if you open the mouth too much, you can pop this whole back piece off. But you can open the mouth, you can um, extend that blade out if you want to, things you can do if you want to do it. But that is pretty much it. Again, just to reiterate, your denchies, nope, no go. No go with your denchies. But uh, yeah, and again, no articulation in the legs. It's just static, but still a nice little representation of Stegochi. And here it is with the original DX version. So you can see how that works out. Don't talk to me or my son ever again, but hey, there you have Stegochi. And last but not least, we have Gabutira, the Voltsor for Kyoryu Red, or in this case, King Kyoryu Red. And let's get in close here so we can take a look at our old buddy here. Take a look at that noggin. Again, you got that nice silver going down the head. Silver for the teeth. Nice green for the eyes. And you got the little 
yellow frill going on there. You got the silver going across the chest. Again, you don't have the uh, spring-loaded gimmick here with this. This is a static piece. As you can see, the combined mode head is just right there. <laughs> You're just turning it to the side to kind of hide it away. On the original, you could pop the helmet off. It stores in the tail, and then you just kind of like uh, rotate the head down to hide it away. But in this case, you can't do that. It's just turn it to the side and just kind of tuck it down so you can't see his face. <laughs> but um, you get some nice silver here as well. The big old yellow tail um one thing i do like about this version is that uh, on the original version you had these posts that just stuck out the side on this version those posts do just fold in and tuck away nicely which i do appreciate we have some hands sticking out back here because that's for our uh, other combined mode that we can do i think you get the silver going down the legs a little bit of black there big old toesies just done in gray but all in all a good looking Gabutira. Now, articulation wise, uh, the head is on a ball joint. So you get wiggly waggly, some up and down. This whole section also can move up and down. So you can actually get him looking up. You can open the mouth up nice and wide. You also get a butterfly joint in here. So you can move the head this way. You can't move it the other way, but you can move it towards you. If you want, get that going on, which is quite nice. Um, the little arms are just on that single hinge, though. No extra articulation there on the tail. You can also move in this direction. You can only move in one direction, but still cool. You can still get a little tail wag going on as far as the legs. They can rotate. They're on a ratchet, so they do have their scooping points. Um, you don't have a knee joint here. It bends the other way for combination, unfortunately. But, you know, it's if, if you need it to move, I mean, it can move in that way if you need it. But as far as the feet go, they're on a ball joint. So you do have up and down rotation. And you have ankle tiltage. And here it is with the original DX Gabutira. So you can see... How they look side by side there. Yeah, very cool. Again, I am so happy that we have new Kyoto Yuja toys in 2023. This is, this is insane, but I love it. So that is it for the three dinos. So let's get down to combination, shall we? Let's. So we're going to start off with Drakira, and we're going to just extend the tail, take his horns, bring them to the back, open up the mouth, and she is ready to go. And for Stegochi, we're just going to uh, rip his back off. We can open this up and open up the mouth, and that is ready to go. And now uh, for Gabutina, first thing we're going to do is rip off the tail. Just slide that right out, and then open it up. Got these little posts here that we can flip out, and that is ready to go. Next thing you want to do is just take the legs and bring them back. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention during the articulation is uh, due to the fact that we have thigh rotation here, we can actually bring those legs out some. So we got that going on, things we can do. Um, you can do that also, but, you know, hey, more, a lot more possibility there. But anyway, you want to take these legs and just bring them back, then bring the leg down, and you want to push this little release button here, extend the leg like so. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, second versus like first. Just bring that leg back, bring that down. Push this release button and extend. And we can just kind of angle those legs out a bit. And there we have the lower body all done. And we take his little dino arms here, just bring them down so we can rotate the waist. Once that is done, we have these little posts here. They just want to rotate out and bring down. Just bring that out, rotate, extend that like so. And we can just bring the head forward. And we just bring in the tail, and it will clip into these clip points right here. Just clippity-clip and clippity-clip. And the last thing to do is bring in Drakira and snap that on. Bring in Stegochi. Snap him on, and then we can bring this in and have it in a shield mode right now, like so. And there you go. There you have the full action Kyoryujin. And nicely done. It looks like Kyoryujin. You know, it's a simplified version. It's simplified in some areas, but improved in others. So there is a trade off. But still, very, very happy with that. We can straighten this legs out maybe a little bit, but yeah. Really, really cool. But let's get in close here so we can take a look now at the Kyoryu crotch, but at the Kyoryu noggin. There's the Kyoryu noggin. 
it's down here so we can get them nice and close. Nice. Head sculpt there. Get that silver for the face, the green for the eyes. Got that nice yellow. Looks quite good. And, I mean, this is all stuff we've already seen, just in a different configuration, but still worth showing off nonetheless. But it all looks very, very good in my opinion. Got the tail back here. That's the backpack. Oh no. Very cool. Very, very cool. Now, articulation-wise, this is where the uh, the full action comes in because we got a lot of articulation on this. Way more than the original head. So the head is on the ball joint. So you got your wiggly waggly. You can look up a little bit. Can't look down. Head can do that full 360. The arms can rotate. Can do a full 360. They can move in and out. We have outward movement, and these shoulder pads will also move out of the way to accommodate that. We have bicep rotation. We have elbows. Oh my god, we have elbows. Unfortunately, there's no wrist rotation here, just due to how, 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 yeah, how all this is shaped. So my tongue stops working. But uh, yeah, no wrist rotation, unfortunately, but still, we get a lot more than we did before. And of course, you have those butterfly joints that allows you to move the shoulders inward. We do have waist rotation as far as the legs. I get these out of the way. Legs can go forward that far, can move them high kicks back about that far, probably further. Well, further really, but the backpack kind of gets in the way, but we can get it back about that far. And outward, guess what? We got outward movement, can do the full splits. We have thigh rotation. We have a knee joint. Oh my God, knee joints. And again, those feet are on the ball joint can move up and down rotation and tiltage. And of course, if you don't want the shield thing going on, you can just extend the blade, close that up, and there you have the sword. Yeah, very, very cool. Loving the full action. There is definitely a lot of action here, a lot of a lot more playability. Again, you don't have the electronics. You don't, you know, you don't get to hear the music and all that stuff. But still, to have an actual Posable Kyoryujin is, I think, a totally fair trade-off, and I'm very happy. <laughs> and for comparison, here is Kyoryujin with King Ojer. So you can see how it scales with our current mech. And here he is with the original DX Kyoryujin, who couldn't do much of anything posability wise, but he was still cool and I still loved him. But there you can see the two side by side and not much of a size difference there. I mean, it's definitely smaller. Not as bulky, they did manage to streamline it a bit better. Um, one thing I do like on the original better than this new version is the legs. Like on the original version, the legs look a bit more coherent. On this new version, you can see things just kind of look a little disjointed. and well, eh. not, not great, but all in all, still works. I'm still happy with it. But wait, there's more, because as we saw in the crossover episodes of King Oger, the Voltsaurs can combine with the Shoe Gods. So let's get down to that combination, shall we? Let's. Now to get Kyoryujin ready for combination, first thing we need to do is uh, rip off the arms. So pull off Kokita, pull off Stagochi, and these uh, connect very, very securely. There we go. You want to come back here, this little clip, you just want to rotate down. You want to come down to the legs here and you want to pop off the dino legs. Pop those off. Oop, don't pop off the backpack, but we'll just leave it there for now. There we go. Just pop off the legs. Let me put this back on. There we go. That's been accomplished. Um, let's get these out of the way so we can push this button here so we can extend, I mean, retract the legs. And that will reveal these little connector pieces. Now for the dino legs, you want to take the foot and rotate it 180, and then you want to bend this, and it'll just plug in right here, like so. Just angle that back, and you want to take this fist and rotate it so it's oriented properly, and you want to do that to both sides. And now you're going to plug these in, and these will become his new arms, like so. Now, as far as the shoe gods go, you will need Kamakiri, Hachi, Papillon, and Tombo. So, Hachi and Kamakiri will become the new feet. So, just plug those right on, like so. And now you want to take Tombo here and just clip it onto the back. Just slide it down until it snaps into place, like so. And then we want to bring in King Oger's 
head here and you want to bring these like back bring the horns back and this will clip in right there so just get that and snap it into place like so and lastly put the sword in the hand and there you go there you have king cure Eugen. And, you know, pretty cool. Pretty cool that we can combine Kyoto Yujin with the Shu Gods. I mean, it's just really just some new feet, a new sword, and, you know, a little, little bit of a new backpack there. Got wings now, but, you know, still pretty cool, though. And we still retain a good amount of articulation. We still have the articulation in the arms. We actually get uh, some form rotation. We actually get a wrist joint now with these new arms, so that's nice. We get a wrist joint there. You may knock off the backpack because I always do that because I'm clumsy. Make sure that stays snapped on. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, as far as the legs, the legs still have your, your range of movement. You still have a knee joint there. You can still move that up, have that going on. Now, obviously we lose some range of movement with the feet because these kind of go up and down and a little bit of side to side. So we do lose some articulation in the feet, but for the most part, the legs retain most of their articulation. So he's still pretty poseable. I can still do the action. And of course, if you want, you can still store the sword on the back. That's the thing you can do if you want to do it. But of course, we want our mighty robots wielding his weapon. But, oh, the very cool. I mean, yeah, he's got, you know, big dino feet just kind of hanging out back there. But still, all in all, I think it's pretty cool for what it is. So, uh, there you go. So there you have Cure Ryujin, and um, yeah, again, my mind is blown that we're getting new Cure Ryujin merch in 2023. My mind is blown that I now have an actual posable Cure Ryujin in my collection now. That is just amazing. But I think this is a really well done set, a nice update to the robot. I mean, yes, we do lose the electronics, so we don't get to hear the music and all that. But we gain a lot of articulation, and as far as I'm concerned, I think that's a fair trade-off. But of course, just my opinion to each their own. And I do appreciate the added combo with the shoe gods. I think that's really cool. My only critique of Kyoto Yujin is I think the legs just look a little disjointed with the way they come together for the robot mode. But, you know, that's making room for the articulation also. So I understand why they designed it, how they designed it. But that is an aspect I feel the original DX version pulled off a bit better. But, but all in all, though, I think this is an awesome set and I am very happy with it. So there you go. Now, I picked this up from CS Toys, but of course, there are many other sites you can go to for stuff like this if you are interested, such as Hobby Link Japan, Ami Ami, Hobby Search, Mandarake, of course, as always, eBay and Amazon. You can also check out BigBadToyStore.com for Super Sentai items. I'll put a link to their site in the description down below so you can check that out. You can also check out the King Oger and, well, Cure to Uger playlist down in the description below to see any reviews you may have missed. Then I think that's it, so don't forget to check out games check out love peace paranormal follow me on twitter all of that good stuff down in the description below and i think that's pretty much all there is to say so there is the kyori slash king oger dx kyori full action version and zemgo saying remember you don't stop playing because you grow old you grow old because you stop playing be geek be proud palm in your face <laughs> what is this? Dinosaurs? Oh, please, dinosaurs are so played out. Insects! Now that's where it's at. Oh!